What is up everybody over right here and we are back with some more Twilight Survivors again. Today we are going to jump in to our Bastion character. Um, well, I guess he's called Emberfire, <laughs> but he's a robot. He walks around, he shoots, uh, and he's going to have a couple different uh, modes to him. So what's cool is he's going to have a mode shift. So when he's moving, he's going to shoot piercing bullets in the indicated direction. And then when we're deployed into a sort of our immobile turret, we're going to shoot piercing bullets with significantly lower cool time. And that's basically going to be the gist of this character. So let's just jump in. All right, we're going to be doing a 15 minute run. We're going to be fighting this cute little timber wolf character and let's go. So this character is not going to have a dash. Some characters have a dash. So see how slow he's firing. And then when we get into turret mode, now he's going to fire extremely fast. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's mark our map. So let's um, I could just use this to mark it. Uh, Okay, let's do this guy. Um, let's see. We'll do the traveler. And then we'll, yeah. So let's just go do those ones. So this one will be interesting because, um, one, I feel like you want to move around a lot in this game, right? Uh, it, there's not much benefit to holding still. So I don't know. I'm going to this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I think the protective shield could be good for this, especially if we go into turret mode. It has a cooldown, too, so I can't just keep shifting in and out of it. Um, yeah, let's go with shift mode. This is probably going to be one of the harder characters to play. See, because I have to wait for the cooldown. I can't just shift in and out. Which would make this so much easier if you could. Okay, let's keep doing shift mode. Maybe I shouldn't do shift mode until I... Until I get a little bit more powerful here. But he's not really that strong without it. Um, okay. Let's do more. No, let's do the ring because that's going to get us our power up for the weapon. Okay, let's do attack damage. Then let's do this guy because that's going to pair with the attack damage we just took. Let's do crit damage. Let's see if we can do like crit damage and crit chance with this character. It's kind of weird that it's on the dash cooldown too for this. It does make it a little, a little awkward. Okay, let's do... Let's do the ratchet dis. Man, we really feel the movement debuff with this uh, blizzard. Okay, let's do the boomerangs. Or no, let's do the crit chance. Let's go with a, like a crit chance, crit damage build, I guess. Man, this is taking forever to get to this, <laughs> to this place we need to get to. Man, I hate that we only have one reroll too, because I don't want any of these. So I guess I'm going to have to waste my reroll here. All right, let's just do pickup range. Let's do this one. 
And we finally killed that guy. It took a while. Okay, let's do all damage, 5%. Okay, we got the Flower of Life. When you defeat an enemy, there's a chance to spawn a Life Bud that will temporarily grant 5% movement speed, 10% crit chance, and 20% crit damage. That's pretty good. If the small plant is retrieved when it blooms, it will restore your HP. Interesting. So it's like multifaceted. Um, let's try this Rain of Fire. We haven't seen the Rain of Fire yet. Let's try that one. We still haven't made it to the Wanderer yet. <laughs> Or this traveler. Okay, let's do the let's do the shield because I think I want to get the shield going the most. How much? Man, it, you definitely feel it—the movement speed and not having the dash either with this character. All right, let's do more boomerang because I know I can get the ultimate for that. So, OK, so this is just man, this just gives me a card. Uh, let's do the king sword eliminates all hostile targets except bosses and eliminates every two minutes. Cool. So we don't get that right now. That's um, that's just the card I unlocked that we'll get in the future. Okay, so what do we get in here? We're gonna get the Mage Tower, Mercenary Camp, and then we'll come down to this guy. See, it's solid when we're in turret mode, but then when we're in turret mode, we're not moving around and getting things. Uh, let's do crit chance. And I, with this with this uh, map, you want to move around a lot because you need to you need to get to all these locations. I don't know if I'm gonna like this character that much. All right, let's do the boomerang. Okay, so we'll get our swift daggers now. Launches multiple permanent flying daggers. The projectiles will rebound upon contact with the area's edge. Man, we're five minutes in and I've only made it to one altar so far. Let's get, I'm going to take the revive. Oh, wait, do we, do we get those cards? I guess we do get those cards for the run. Uh, um, let's do the long sword. Because it looked like the card was just activated there. I didn't know we got them for this run. I thought they were only cards that we unlocked for to put in our slots.
I'm surprised we haven't really killed this boss yet either. Now he's dead. Now I gotta come back and get all his stuff. Alright, we got a three banger. That's good. Let's see, we got spatial three spatial rings, really. That would have been not my top choices there. Okay, let's do crit chance. Okay, so mercenaries, I am... I think we're actually going to do our healing totem here. Because this actually might do well with... Um, so, yeah, see, like, if I'm in here and I bust out my turret while I sit in here, I think that would be actually pretty cool. Right? I can't move anyways while I'm in there to get my heals. I like that. I like that. That's a good one. Then I don't need to be so cautious about my health. Okay, let's mark a few more places. Um, I kind of want to just skip over these other ones. Um, let's go to those three. I want to do the ones that are going to give me the abilities. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was seeing how old, if, if I can out heal there. Okay, moving shoots flames. Okay, so now we do a flamethrower and penetrative lasers. Cool. That's our new upgrade. That seems pretty good. That's sweet. Okay, just one rain of fire. Okay, let's do crit damage. gonna <laughs> just gonna <laughs> just multiply this guy so I can just hopefully maybe I could just kind of stay in here the whole time I don't know just get max healing from those just do crit damage error error I keep forgetting how long it takes um shoot I keep forgetting how long it takes to get out of the turret ok 
Okay, so just one poisonous daggers. Wonder if I get twice the heals. Looks like it. That's awesome. That's some huge heals. Okay, we got a long ways to go still. We're we're not moving through this very quickly for the bonuses. This character is growing on me, though, with the flamethrower. But I still don't. I guess maybe you have to pair movement speed with this character to make up for some of the. Some of the time you lose by going into. Into your turret mode. Get our another weapon here. Okay, um, we'll do the fireball just because I do have the proper um, passive to go with it to overclock it. But I don't know if we're gonna have enough to to do it. Okay, what do we want to prioritize next? Let's do let's do those two. And that's probably, that's probably about all we'll get. Flamethrower is pretty good, though. You guys are too quick for me. The collision damage is really high too. Tough to deal with that. We kill one of them. Okay, we got a three-er. Fireball, Holy Cross, and Fireball. Okay, let's get this last one real quick. I guess it's tough too getting so many extra skills. With some of the other characters, I didn't have issues leveling up as much. This character, I definitely did a little bit more. Okay, chain fireball. Okay, 
Yeah, just a one. Long sword. Oh my gosh, what is... Ugh. He's hitting me with something and I couldn't tell what it was. This isn't good. We're gonna go into the boss fight too here in a second. I gotta get in one of these healing totems. No, oh, he's shooting something at me and I can't see what it is. Oh, he's shooting the snowballs at me and I couldn't really see it. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's go. All right, I don't think we're gonna get to this last one. Ooh, come on. Man, I got lucky he disappeared. All right, let's see how we... This is gonna be tough. No dash with this character. Um, and I don't know how often I'm gonna really be able to go into turret mode here. Ugh, see, I can't get out of it in time. And that's a... That's a revive. I just, I'm not even gonna bother, I guess. I'm not even gonna bother going into turret mode. This one's tough. The only, the only reason I'm even staying in this is because of those healing totems. So that ended up being a, <laughs> that ended up being a super crucial pick here. I mean, we did it, but that was not pretty. That was definitely not one of the prettier runs here. All right, let's go with the middle. Self-cultivating, plus 50 luck. Each level up will decrease luck. Each level up will decrease luck bonus by two, up to a maximum of 25 times. So we start off with luck, but then you just eventually lose it over time. Return to camp. Yeah, that was definitely not our best run. Even the levels attained, we got a B. Boss defeat time, a B. I don't, yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna dig this character too much. He's, the turret mode is a little bit hard to manage on some of these fights. Okay, so we got the flower of life. That was one we got. And then the king's sword eliminates all hostile targets except bosses and elites in the area. With no XP gems. Oh, okay. So then we got a new... Oh, that's the one we just got. So let's see. What, what did we get that's new here? We got the Machine of War. So that's what... That was the one we uncovered. We got the higher minions now. We got a new skill. Increases minion defense. Decreases damage received. And then we got a new character, the Summoner. A former senior Continental Council member. I guess that explains why we got the minion damage, because this character is probably going to have some summons for us. And then 3,000 gold. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Let's check out. Let's just see what this new character is real quick. Uh, Stellar Summoning. That's going to be their ability. The Summoner, a former senior Continental Council member. Ranged fast development. Enhanced. I wonder what that means. Uh, probably XP gain or something. XP bonus, 15%. Uh, throw stellar shards to deal damage. After dealing a certain amount of damage, summon a guardian. And then their special move is going to be dash forward, draw the guardians towards you, and release a wave of stellar shards. Cool. So we'll try, we'll try the summoner next. And then we still have, what, four more characters to go? Sweet. 
All right, everybody, that is going to be it for more Twilight Survivors. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.